Hey guys, welcome to this session on how to get started with Anzo Graph. Anzo Graph is an MPP, a massive parallel processing distributed graph OLAP database for advanced graph analytics at big data scale, developed by Cambridge Semantics. In this short video, I will be showing you the steps to quickly deploy Anzo Graph data platform on Docker. Again, Anzo Graph can be deployed on Docker, which means you can run it from anywhere. But if you also have VMs running on any of the cloud service providers like Amazon, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, or any standalone Linux operating systems like CentOS, Red Hat, you can deploy it there as well. First step, you want to go register and get your license keys. The URL that you see on the screen gets you there. I'm going to open that quickly on the browser to show you guys well, which I have already open here. You come in, you fill in these information. You can pick the option where you want to deploy. You want to choose all three up to you and register. You'll get an email with the uh, registration confirmation and the license keys. Once you've done that, as a prerequisite, in this case, it's Docker in deployment. So you want to make sure you have Docker installed as well as Kubernetes deployed. If you have not done that already, you want to go to this URL, get Docker and Kubernetes deployed. And to show you that, this is the URL I've opened here. You come here, you register for Docker installation. And once you have a profile, get Docker. That brings you to the community edition. Depending on what operating system you're running, Mac OS, Linux, Windows, choose the one that suits you and go ahead and install it. I'm running a Mac, so I'm going to go with that option. And when you hit the get Docker, it gets downloaded and then simply follow the installation wizard to get it installed. Once you've done with that, you also want to deploy Kubernetes. Kubernetes is an open source um, container orchestration system for automating deployments and managing on, uh, of containerized uh, applications, basically. So once you've done that, you can come to check if Docker and Kubernetes are deployed by looking at this whale icon that will show up. You can see Docker is running. You can also go to preferences just to make sure you have enough RAM and disk, you know, you can ch check on all these options to determine how much RAM you're allocating from your laptop to run this application. Another way to, you can also do is go to uh, the shell window and run some of these commands. Once you have Kubernetes installed, you can run Docker PS, that'll give you the list of containers that you already have running. Um, and also you can run the cube CTL command to get the information about the nodes. As a next step, um, you can, you're now good to go ahead and uh, run the pull command to pull the Anzo Graph image. So you basically run this pull docker.io, the command I have, and the snapshot of the, that I put here for you guys is uh, you know, on your shell, uh, window. You will uh, you'll basically see this. I'm gonna go ahead and run this now. So here I am on my shell. Uh, you know, I'm using item on my Mac machine. Um, so whatever your preferred uh, shell you can use. Uh, so you uh, paste pretty much the docker pull command. It takes about a minute as you can see uh, to pull the Anzo Graph image and once it should be done in a second or a few seconds uh, once the pull is done um, you should have Anzo Graph um, the docker version so once that is done now you want to instruct the docker to start Anzo Graph and also open up the ports like for HTTP HTTPS so again you have to run this docker run command that I have here uh, copy that and paste it boom you're done you can also go to kitematic which gets installed with you know the docker when you install docker so you open up kitematic you will see Anzo Graph uh, now up and running there uh, once this completes you will see uh, you know the necessary ports are all open now and then if you go to the command here on the right arrow that will basically take you to the the GUI uh, user interface of Anzo Graph. now the user ID credentials and password for this uh, you know, is provided to you with the document but it's pretty much uh, the admin and password uh, so you enter those credentials and hit sign in it will bring you to this end user license agreement just uh, either go ahead and accept it will log you into the query console which is where you can run sparkle queries and start working with your database so you're in logged in you've installed it's up and running and you can run your queries
Another way to uh, check uh, if the Anzu Graph is up and running is uh, once you have uh, installed and opened up the ports, you can come to the, the shell of your Docker image. And this is pretty much what you're seeing here on the screen is the default directory where Anzu Graph gets installed. Uh, you can come and run some commands just to take a look at what get, got installed in that folder. You'll see the bin, config, all these files there. Uh, you can also use the azgctl command to check the status of the Anzograph database. So if you run this command, it will basically give you the details of uh, the how many nodes. Like in our case, we just deployed a single node database. As you know, this is an MPP. You can uh, choose to uh, deploy as many nodes as you prefer, depending on how much you're willing to pay and uh, it provides details like the IP address and gives you the status of Anzograph as online or offline. So with that, I think it brings us to the conclusion of this video. Just to summarize, um, getting started with Anzograph, uh, I, I like to, you know, in three easy steps or four steps, Docker and Kubernetes, make sure you have them installed and running as a prerequisite. Um, we saw where to go and how to get that done. And once you have that done, you can just run the Docker pull command to get Anzograph image. And the next step would be opening up the ports and starting Anzograph. And the fourth step is basically just launch the GUI or the command line interface and start working with the MPP Big Data Scale GoLab database uh, Anzograph. If you have any questions, you can write to us on Anzograph at cambridgesemantics.com. I also pasted this URL, which I think is very useful. You know, as a, you know, a lot of reference documentation where uh, you can find more details about what I just uh, showed you in this five minute quick video. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, enjoy playing with the platform. Thank you.